Hello everyone, we are going to be modeling from three views today. So here I have 2.5 and what I'm going to do is analyze this and build this into a 3D that I can visualize before going into NX. So what I'm going to do is take my front view here and draw it out here. So here you can see this is the front view. Let's make this a little bit thicker. So we're just going to draw exactly what they have. It doesn't have to be exact because it's your sketch. So here we have this is four. To the end, we have it as 12. Sorry for my writing, I'm using my finger. I don't have a stylus. So this is three. Now from here we can draw like a dotted line per se. Um, and what this will do is kind of help guide us to see where we're going to put this circle that we have here. So where these dotted lines meet up. That's the center point of our circle. Okay, so we have three here, four here, 12. And we don't know what the length is yet, but that's, we're gonna figure that out. And we do know the diameter of this. So that is 3.5. Making sure you can see that dot. So from here, we can look at our top view and then our right view. So this is our front view. Now we can look and we can say, okay, what does our top view have that connects to our front view? So I'm gonna use green for our top view. And I'm just gonna tell you that this right here is part of your top view. This is also part of your top view. So these are going to overlap. And we're going to move this over. So now we're looking at our top view. So drawing this, we have a top view that looks like that. Evenly split which makes sense because we have four, four, and this should be four because this whole distance is 12 and this tells us that this is four. So this is four, 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 four times three is 12, or you can look at it as they told us all of them were four. So here, a little bit tricky because it's kind of small, so bear with me, but you can hear the audio. So we have four, 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 four. And then if you wanna add that we have a whole distance of 12, kind of just reassuring this here that that is the same part. Now it's interesting that you see these dotted lines. What are these dotted lines? This is gonna be your circle. So you have this circle, looks like it's between these two lines evenly which means it's two and from here and two and from here, which makes sense because to the edge of this radius of here, this radius of this circle is one and a half. We're not gonna get into that because that's a little bit complicated, but you can just see that this here cuts between and that is your circle. Now this is saying how far that this circle extrudes. So it's not a complete hole, but more of like a cutout piece of 2.3. Really visualize that point. All right, apologize for the weird looking numbers. 
So we have 2.3, and this is going to be how far, how deep it goes. So looking at this, we say, okay, so I must have some kind of thickness. I have at least 2.3 thickness because this is going 2.3 in, but it's not going all the way. I need to figure out what this thickness is. This length will tell me the thickness of this part. And that will be deciphered by this right view. So if we um, come along here, we'll do the right view right here. So let's I'll show you. We'll do it in blue. So here is our thickness. We also have obviously the same thickness is going to be here. And that's going to be demonstrated by our right view. So all the way down and all the way to the right. So we draw this here. And this here. Obviously, this is going to be our circle. And that's going to be the 2.3. So that right here, you can see that that's that right there, that's 2.3. And that's just from the edge of this here to the front of that part. Let's see if I can see that point. So then you also are going to have this 9. Right. This is this whole side here, like we said, is matching up with this, but how does that correlate to everything? Well, if you look at this, you have this hole. Imagine this flipped the opposite way. You see that this hole is now this way, so this here is going to this side, meaning that I have nine tall. So we can see that now we have found the length, I'm sorry, the height of this side here. So here we know that this is 9. Again, sorry for the really bad numbers. So traveling back here, we have a 9 and this 5. This 5 is the same height as the top of the circle, which meshes up with the top of this part. So kind of drawing like a dotted line here. A little bit tight, so I'm going to write it on this side. We have 5. And this 5 is actually the full height of this part here. Which, by extrapolation, you could probably figure out that that's 2, but I like to be exact. So here we have a 9, a 5, and a 2.3. What is this last 6.5? This last 6.5 is actually the thickness. That's what we were talking about right here, is the thickness. And that thickness can also be illustrated by kind of adding, you know, dimension to this. I'm not going to draw it through the numbers because it'll just mess all the numbers up. But that creates that thickness. And that connecting there and that connecting somehow kind of like that. It kind of looks weird, but you get the point. So that thickness here is going to be 6.5. So now we've completed all of these. We have a right, a top, oops, and a front view. We can now go to NX. So I have my NX model open. I'm going to split the screens a little bit more on NX because we don't, that's where we kind of need our things here and I can zoom out.
Okay. So I'm using the unit inches. Um, I'm not sure, but you would have to check to see what the homework says if you need inches or millimeters. If it doesn't say anything, inches is perfectly fine. So, whoops. We are going to start at the origin. So what I want to start off with is this 12 line. So start off at the origin, sketch origin, and we're going to go out 12. And since we're in inches, this is like huge, so we're going to just zoom out. From this 12 here, we're going to want to go up our height of 9. Now the front view is really good to look at after you've looked at the other views and you've made notes on where things should go because it's really easy to visualize this part. So we can go up 5 on the right side here, making sure that you're always making sure that you are connecting endpoints to start points. Now here you can go in four and this four it's not on the front view but you can see it's on the top view that's this four 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 part so we have our first four set now we're going to go to our second four set now the distance down and to this angle you don't have to really figure that out because you know that there's going to be four already between, so you can just connect endpoint to endpoint. But again, it is imperative that you keep endpoint to endpoint. So here we have the basic shape. We're going to finish our sketch, and from there we're going to extrude. I click on my part that I want to extrude, and how much are we extruding? We go back and we see, oh yeah, the thickness is 6.5. So that's how much we're going to extrude. Now, since I'm drawing on the front face, I want to go negative. So I'm going to go negative 6.5, and we want the Boolean to be none. Press OK. And from there, we can look at this. Now it's time that we make our circle. So for the circle, we can go to sketch, and we can sketch right on this face. Click OK. What we're going to do is grab the line tool, and we're going to set up our coordinates. So we want to go over 4, and that was deciphered from here, and we want to go up 3. So from the end point of the 4, we want to go up 3. This is giving where we need to put our midpoint of our circle. So right on that end point, that is uh, the line length of 3, we know that our diameter of our circle is 3.5, which was, you can see from there. And then we just want to make sure that we're trimming the rest of these lines so we can get a clean extrude. From there, finish the sketch, and we can extrude. Now this hole or this um, kind of cutout piece can always be made different ways. You can use holes, you can use different things, you know, just make a piece and then subtract. Anything will work as long as you have the right thickness or the right depth to it. So we can see from here, the depth of this hole or this circle is 2.3. So we went negative, which means we got to go negative again, negative 2.3. And this time for the Boolean, we're going to subtract. It already kind of selects the body. You press OK. And here's the model. Now, it's important that you guys know all sketches need to be hidden so you can do that manually or you can just go up to view show and hide and you want to hide sketches now to show you that this is indeed the model we are going to go to the models from three views thing and open it up 
on this side here, split the screen with this. So again, we're going back this way. All right. So what I'm going to do is make this kind of static wireframe so you can see the holes and things. So from a straight on point of view, we have our front view. Looks exact. If you turn this down, you now have our top view. As you can see, the four, 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 and this circle that doesn't go all the way through, but it goes 2.3. Bring it back to center and turn it to the right. You can see that we have this right view. It's at a slant, but it's still the right view. You have a big rectangle, a line, and then your circles. So the big rectangle, a line that splits about halfway, and then you have the circle. So this is indeed model from three views, 